Aquarius, hello my loves and welcome back to the channel. Supreme gratitude for clicking on the video. Your support really means a lot to me. Okay. Uh, we're going to tap into your next 72 hour energy reading. Happy full moon in Aquarius. Right. Um, <laughs> you could have Aquarius in your sun, moon, rising, Venus, or North Node. There could be a message in here for you. Make sure you flip the roles as need be. And if you like a personal reading, please click the description box below to visit my website to book a personal reading, okay? My, my phone number is also on the community board if you would like to send a text in reference to inquiring about a personal reading. Um, so I was laughing because this full moon in Aquarius, full moons are about releasing energy, right? Like, like things building up, things being illuminated, right? So that you can actually start anew. So when there's a full moon, then it comes to the next cycle of a new moon. So there's going to be things that are leaving your life, things that you are... Uh, being that are being illuminated for you to pay attention to because it needs to leave your life okay so be mindful of that energy I get excited by that type of energy um, especially when you are in a healing energy you know you want to pay attention to everything and uh, make sure that you are aligned with your higher self make sure that you are aligned with the proper energy that you know you need to be in this could be in love this could be in finance and career right this is friends this is family you know and all areas of your life so i get excited you know about this but it's actually full moon um you can actually go out and cleanse your crystals on a full moon any type of spiritual jury that you may have you can go you know sit outside create some moon water um uh, you know um moon water for the full moon is also good it's more so like your uh florida water okay so uh moon water on a full moon could be you know uh once you charge you know this water you can actually use it you know for the rest of the month to you know cleanse your energy and get aligned okay all right so spirit Next 72 hour energy. Ooh, ooh, look, ooh. Seasons. <laughs> oh, I'm telling you, man. I'm telling you. Uh, creativity. All right. Creativity. Being creative. Aligning. Seven sisters. Right. Manifesting. Worthiness. Um. All right, a trend of paying attention to, to who you are and what you bring to the table. Not accepting less, not compromising so much of yourself that 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 you put yourself in a losing situation, right? Okay, all right. Not compromising so much, uh, look, truth. All right, brazen, all right? Okay, yeah, okay. Secrets being revealed. I'm trying to tell you, Aquarius. So there's gonna be some stuff that's gonna be revealing. You may feel like, what like somebody like you got the balls right the number 12 okay or the number three the number 34 the number seven the number 17 or the number eight the number 36 or the number nine you see the sequence all right <laughs> seven eight nine okay <laughs> that escalates fast right from a three to a seven eight nine so someone could be trying someone could be in your energy where you know like some type of truth that's coming out of you like like really i think for for an aquarius when people try to play on your head it's kind of like did you really it's it's up, more being upset because you tried it and you didn't have to you know what i'm saying um aquarius you're very open being so it's like you really tried me like that right yeah secrets being revealed this is what this is about right someone could be working very hard for these secrets to not be revealed someone could be working extremely hard for things to not come but it's beyond them right it's the spirit you know revealing things that need to be revealed to you um don't question yourself um it's it could be something that you like this is too far this is crazy you know there's no way that you did all of this like this this is crazy like i can't believe it, it i'm feeling like it's gonna be one of those i can't believe it situations okay let's see some ish about to hit the fan all right four pinnacles Capricorn energy. Two 
Two of Pentacles. Okay, this is definitely... Okay, Spirit is like, I said take this card, okay? <laughs> it tried to come out before. <laughs> and then I just rolled it over just by how it came out. It came out again. So the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Mm -hmm. The Five of Wands and... Yep. The Five of Wands and the Eight of Swords here. Yeah. A lot, lot of financial energy here. All right. Capricorn energy. Leo energy. And... Uh, Gemini energy. Aquarius Gemini, Lib Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. So Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Uh, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy. Hmm. This could be around finances, okay? Being creative. Someone trying to get something from you or you're trying to get some something from someone, all right? You're reading, I'm going to read it for you. But there's going to be a truth about how someone is moving and about how someone is doing things. Like, you're going to find out a truth, right? It's like it was right in front of you, right? It was right in front of you. But as things are being revealed, okay, someone could be having money issues, budgeting their finances, having bare minimum, you know what I'm saying, robbing Peter to pay Paul, and you're coming out of that energy, okay? If you were helping someone with helping someone uh, make something happen, it's like now it's like you're realizing like, no, I, I'm not going to keep repeating the same cycle. I'm not staying in this energy. That's going to cause conflict for you pulling back your energy from someone financially. But you don't care because you're 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 guarded. You're reserved. Your head is down and you know what you got to do. You're doing what you got to do for you, okay? So, yeah, someone here is redrawing something. Redrawing themselves, okay? Redrawing themselves or redrawing their finances. Okay, let's clarify the four of pentacles for the collective of Aquarius spirit. Mm. The Knight of Cups. The Queen of Pentacles. What did I say? Okay, it's too many people here. The Queen of Cups and the King of Swords in reverse. Chariot walking away. Somebody could have needed some help here. And they, you, you have the Queen of Pentacles. So like this person, they could just be down on their luck. But coming in with an offer of love to the Queen of Pentacles. Someone in which they seen that had, you know, that, that, that was stable, you know, in, in finances, right? But you got the Queen of Cups in reverse, and then you have the King of Swords in reverse. So I feel like it's, this person may feel like you're so focused on your finances that it's not love. Or there's a Queen of Cups in reverse here. There's somebody here that's mad, that's angry, that's upset. King of Swords in reverse, of course, that's your energy. But then there's someone here that's lying, that's that's like, look, no, I'm, I'm, I'm not, like, you're shutting down. Okay? So there could be multiple people in this mix whether you are like focused on your money and not focused on love as much like not being love crazy about this person like you know you're you're shutting yourself down in some type of way from this person on an emotional standpoint if this person looked at you as someone that that could assist them they were bounding on you having this particular love for them they were they were they were counting on you feeling a certain type of way about them if this is somebody else in the mix, okay, somebody else could be, you know, flipping out and acting crazy, but King of Swords is in reverse. Someone here is lying, okay? Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, you could be dealing with another air sign, or this person has air in their chart, or this is you. In an energy of feeling away. Hold on, I'm sorry about that. Yeah, somebody's walking away from something. Like, something could become a bit much, this could be this person just like coming at you because of finances. So you could have like 
move some stuff around for yourself to help this person. Let's see. Let's clarify the two of pentacles for the collective of Aquarius spirit. These cards flipping. Oh, I'm telling you. Okay. Two of Pentacles. Uh-huh. Two of Pentacles is the Ace of Swords in reverse, the Devil, and then the World card in reverse. Someone is juggling something. Someone could be juggling their finances and not speaking up, not speaking their truth about it. You're juggling your finances because of a toxic at attachment. Someone that a cycle isn't over with. Someone could be juggling you or you're juggling someone else. Because a cycle isn't over. So someone here could be giving someone their all, putting themselves in a situation for someone else. I just had the craziest thought here um that's crazy i don't know how that applies to your reading okay someone could be around you trying to keep you attached to them they may have a personal item of yours that they're concentrating and doing energy work on so that was just so weird <laughs> that, that hit me at that point with the devil here a lot of capricorn energy here you could be aquarius capricorn cuss but someone has an attachment which is a toxic attachment that is not over so someone has a karmic attachment someone is juggling so with that being said there is two people here one which is the queen of pentacles so this this knight of cups came in to offer love to the queen of pentacles the Knight of Cups is a younger individual than you, all right, but this was a carefully thought out. They wanted to make this work, but then there was a Queen of Cups in reverse, you know, like, it's more so like they see you as somebody that get money, but you're not really nurturing and loving and, you know, they may feel as though you're not honest, so they're removing their energy or this other person is not honest. This y'all story. I'm not going to go too deep in trying to figure this out, okay? Uh, it's some shit going on, okay? It's some stuff going on. And Ace of Swords in reverse. Some, they're definitely someone not being truthful about an attachment. Like, someone's not being honest about something here. The world is in reverse, right? It's, it's just something. They, they have this attachment that they cannot let go of, okay? So, you know, you have to do what's what's right for you, you know? Let's clarify the Knight of Pentacles in reverse for the collective of Aquarius spirit. can't make this up Aquarius I don't know what's going on ace of pentacles in reverse three of swords in reverse it's like a situation is not working and someone's realizing like hey this shit ain't working for me I need to heal myself your money could be slowed up three of swords in reverse it's like somebody here is, is, is trying to heal themselves not wanting to be in a third party situation just focusing on what you need to focus on. Like you're, you're no longer waiting for things to unfold. You're creating your own reality. There's the moon. Things being revealed. Tough decision to make. Will of fortune. Protect your energy. King of wands in the mix. Okay. So it's like you, you were going with the flow of something and you're no longer doing that. You're no longer in that energy of saying... Well, I'll just wait and see how this plays out, right? You've had you, you've had a lot of patience in, in this particular matter. It's like, I've had enough patience for this to pay an out, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Let's clarify the five of wands for the collective of Aquarius spirit. Mm-hmm. That could be a lot of arguing, fighting disagreeing okay and it's time for you to speak up yeah four of 
swords in reverse with the eight of wands it's time to speak up yeah with the moon something is being illuminated could be something with black magic queen of wands in reverse yeah man someone from this person's past or someone from your past is using juju that you know someone you removed your energy from could be in reference to a masculine Hey, I'm doing readings right now. Can I get you back? All right. Could be in reference to um, to a masculine here. You were like waiting to see how it pans out and you're no longer waiting. Okay, you're no longer chilling. You're no longer like, okay, let's see. You're speaking your truth. It's a lot of communication happening here. Yeah, the moon, this, 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 this full moon in Aquarius is illuminating things. And therefore, it's like you speaking up on it, right? Uh, someone told me the other day, it was like, you, if something on your mind, you got to get it off. And I'm like, why would I hold it? <laughs> like, <laughs> if I feel a way, I'm going to say how I feel. I'm not sitting here trying to manipulate, calculate, do all this shit that people be doing. What you see is what you get. You know what I'm saying? When it comes to me, you know, I'm, I'm an Aquarius. I don't have time to be, you know, sitting back like, oh, this is what I feel and let me see. Because most of the time when people are doing that, especially with Aquarius, they're gauging wrong, right? They're gauging wrong. And then that becomes tiring in itself. Like, dude, where your head be at that you gauging me so wrong? Like, you know, but it, they'll tell you where their head is when you just sit and listen to how they always gauge a situation or how they always think that a situation is going you'll know where their head is right so be mindful of that you know as an yeah don't hold anything in you don't have to be rude to anybody but speak what's on your mind you know like if the person feels like they're calculating you and they're knowing who you are by that great something about this situation is about to be illuminated though something is coming out something is about to hit the fan aquarius now i don't know what side of the fan you <laughs> I don't know what side you on, but something is some some truth is about to come out. Somebody was lying about something. Somebody was not being honest. Okay, it could be with finances. You know, something something about to hit the fan. Let's clarify the eight of swords for the collective sphere of Aquarius. Oh, ace of wands in reverse. Mmm. -hmm like someone lost patience with something you know as we say what's on our mind people think that an Aquarius is emotionally detached which we are but we just really don't have time to keep going and playing games the way that these other people these you know I, look it, it ain't that serious I don't I don't think we are as big on love itself as other people are but you got to start in reverse aqua this yo this your energy, man. Like, you could be hurt behind something here, and this is causing you to move away. Taurus energy here. Three of Pentacles. Causing you to move away from a commitment, from a long-term commitment, a marriage. It could be three people in here. All right, yeah, marriage, marriage. Ace of Cups. I don't know who you got to move away from, but you got to move away from somebody. Ace of Wands in reverse. Ten of Ten of Ten of Wands and the Five of Swords. It's like you're not trying to move on with somebody, and somebody's burdened by that. Somebody, you, you either you not you're not trying to kick put on anyone else's burdens or you're not trying to move on with someone um but you're, you're doing it in a calm manner like trying to have an honest conversation with this person 
So, Aqua, it could be that you have an option of two. See, this person, it could be you. There could be an option of two here. And either, hell, yeah, both of y'all could have an option of two. You got the Knight of Cups, Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Cups in reverse, and then the King of Swords in reverse. Both of y'all could have two. But someone is attached to someone else. Both of y'all could be attached to someone else. There's some conversation that's about to be had. Truth is about to be revealed. And with this truth being revealed, Aquarius, that's putting you in a situation to where you're withdrawing your energy and you're just protecting yourself. You're like, you know what? I just, I, I knew it. Something is going to happen. Doesn't necessarily mean that that it's, it's going to happen with somebody else. Aquarius, it could be something being illuminated about you. Somebody, somebody juggling. You know, it could be both of y'all, but... I don't know. Somebody got some attachments, man. And, and, and this shit, you're juicy. I need y'all to drop in the comments and let me know what's going on. Somebody's not, somebody's not you, you know, thinking, you know, as deep about a situation. Somebody's not diving, you know, diving in to see. Okay. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see what's coming in. I don't know. Aqua, that's juicy. Mm -hmm. the sale is over so we back to regular rates but i'll put on the community board today um how you guys can book a reading i, I want to be nosing that <laughs> that was that was draining and aqua y'all don't never drain me like <laughs> there was it's a lot going on like what the hell? <laughs> that's typical aqua fashion though you know it just been a while That's our fashion, child. We're going to have some stuff going on, boy. You better believe that. You better believe that, baby. All right. Ooh, child. Somebody getting broken up with. Be mindful. Somebody could also be losing a job. Like, you know, I don't know. Somebody could be trying to play games with a dirty offer, okay? Somebody getting let go, okay? This could be a job. This could be in a relationship. Somebody, somebody saying, mm-mm. Somebody's playing a mind game, man. <laughs> I, just the cards that keep coming out with this. Somebody playing a mind game. Uh-huh. Listen, I'm gonna tell you why somebody's playing a mind game. And somebody could be somebody could be at you for money. Here's why. Okay, here's why. Alright. So, and this correlates with what, what we just had. Alright. You got your fire. You got catfish. Someone is not who they appear to be. And you got marrying for money. Okay? And you had all of these pinnacles that came out in your reading. So something could really be illuminated in reference to the financial aspect of it. So my suggestion, the advice piece for this reading is if you don't know if this applies to you or not. And you are financially helping someone pull back. Stop financially helping them. And if a person genuinely is with you for who you are. It is not going to affect them. They're going to figure this out. If this person, their shakeups and there's mixes and shit going on because you and this person are uh, are on bad terms because they money not right, then you know, right? You can't be in a relationship with someone and they 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 causing friction with you because their money not right. They should be grown enough to make their own money. Here's another one, boss bet, right? Yeah, somebody here runs own business, stable, busy, multifaceted. Somebody got their stuff together. Okay? You're hiding from your true self. Somebody has their stuff together. You could be giving someone one last chance to make something right. Okay? But there's somebody here that's triggered. All right? There's somebody here that's extra triggered. Something's going on behind the scenes. Somebody, somebody is triggered. 
Okay, I told you it's multiple people here. This could be the person on your side. It could be the person on their side. They're extra triggered and they're doing spell work. So there you go. It's right there. Someone has been casting spells. Someone is casting spells to get, like, in, in spreading rumors, right? To get this person out of your energy or you out of this person's energy, okay? And then uh, you, on the other hand, so your, your person's karmic... Is, is sending stuff to you and spreading rumors and you at the fork in the road. What do I need to do? Because there's someone that's having romantic thoughts about you. Someone's feelings run really deep, but they are concealed. So this person could be dealing with somebody else. And then you, on the other hand, you got somebody else in your energy that is thinking about you. They may, you know, not be at the forefront, but, you know, they like, they, they want you to make a decision. As an Aquarius, when you commit yourself to someone, you're not going to pretty much go off and make another romantic decision, you know what I'm saying, a decision in love with somebody else, you know, unless you, you know, have multiple people and that's talked about. Um, so it's kind of like you got to figure something out. And so this person on the back end is, is rooting. Here's the thing. This person is rooting to get you out of the picture and your person knows that but they can't remove their energy from this person they just stuck with this person knowing it's a karmic knowing it's a bum so you really may have to let this karmic cycle just play out right just you know leave it alone and let it play out but again if it's not if they're not being successful at it then you know let a hater hate let a potato potate you know what i'm saying that's all i could give you for that so don't allow someone's misery to to move you and you know be bothered because it's like just something is going to be illuminated about the whole situation so you know figure that part out man and go from there i shame